hello guys we are back again with another video thank you so much for clicking but if you are new here hi welcome to my youtube channel my name is lillian and of course if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification hit on the last one that says all so that anytime i upload a video you'll be notified and of course do wait to like this video this is a reaction video I will call this reactions video because I'm not going to react to one, two, but three YouTube videos in this video. All you have to do is watch the video with an open mind and at least watch it to the point of understanding, if not to the end, so that you will understand this video before you leave a comment. With that being said, let's go straight into it. Before we go, I have a very simple question to ask. Is it that Nigerians are obsessed with Ghana? I mean, that's small Ghana. Yeah, that Ghana. Why is it that some Nigerians are obsessed with Ghana? And their exception usually come in a negative light. Is it exception or war or lack of what or i don't understand like it's baffling for some time now i have been liking the ghanaian nigerian youtube space it has been a little bit of calm and i think that has got to do with the fact that i've been reacting to some of these videos the ones i can see and it has turned the whole thing down so some of them now takes it to their community tabs and no longer make videos of this sort where some of us frown at because because when you're going to represent your country at the international level this is where i have a problem when you are not specifying your reasons and why is always nigerians from a particular region that does this all the time and it baffles me because nigeria is a country with diverse cultures and tradition and so many states and blessed with population that makes nigeria make nigeria the most populated black nation on head not in africa but on head and that brings me back to the fact that some people do not have any idea why nigeria is called the giant of africa it is not because you are giant in size it is because of what you a nation of all black people so populated in one country that is why you are the giant of africa it's not because your tradition and culture is the best in the world no a lot of people i guess do not know why nigeria is called the giant of africa today you can thank me at the comment section or it's okay don't thank me keep it to yourself but i'm glad you know now now coming from a country like that is supposed to be a blessing it simply means that you can do so much within that country without having to go outside it but when nigerians some nigerians of course wants to make their videos about you know they want to they they, they are looking for where to find problem because they are they are allergic to good behavior they are allergic to unity they are allergic to oneness they are allergic to just doing the right thing or they are allergic to respecting other people they will leave all of these tribes behind like the yoruba the Igbo, the Aousas. they will leave all these people behind and then they'll pass Benin republic they'll pass to go and then go straight to ghana hey, i'm i'm glad that some of them now find cameroon to be their best friends which is okay as long as they're speaking positively of other people in my name i don't have a problem to get it but where i have a problem is you coming with negativity in the name of a content i have always stated it that i would never understand why some people said ghanians hate them how like how is it not the same ghana we live in the only time they will hate you is your attitude so but what baffles me the most is that it's only nigerians from a particular region that are always out complaining always out making videos about other people putting other people down when you have houses and yorubas just close to you why don't you start there yes when i talk you people will go to some journalists and reports 
the matter and tell them to write. You think that them writing about me will change what? It will make me sit down and allow you continue to drag other people that have not dragged you? Now, I don't understand. Are, you, are we people the only tribe in Nigeria? Are we fine because I'm one of you? Are we the only tribe in Nigeria? Why be saying now? Only we. It's either we are complaining or we are controlling or we are just doing one thing that is not even like we, things that we can't do. You, you and I know you can't do it at home. Of course, you do it at home, but to states like mine where and this onari you do that to us it's fine my people takes it because they don't want problem so but why do you have to bring that energy across the border this is where i don't get it first off i want to go because this woman is um let me play some clips i'll be back i would like to ask a question why is it that most Ghanaians, the ones that haven't traveled out of the country before they are so tribalistic. The way they showcase their anger, their frustration, and um, hatred for Nigerians is becoming so alarming. The comments I'm always getting is not really encouraging. Why? Why? This particular video makes it the second time I'll be reacting to this particular YouTuber. Truth be told, I am not subscribed to that channel. But for whatever reasons, anytime there are videos of her that looks like is about to, you know, be a problem, YouTube will recommend it to me. YouTube will recommend the video to me. This is where I don't get it. I'm not subscribed to the channel and I'm not looking forward to because <laughs> of what? I mean, if I want to watch your video, I should watch mine because we are doing content about Ghana, our lives in Ghana. So, so I already know the story in your videos. Now, let's start from this part where she says, um, because it's a long five minute video. So I have to stop here first and talk about this because of course she asks, why is it that Ghanaians do not like Nigerians? Why is it that Ghanaians have hatred for nigerians because you have asked let me answer you mm? the reason Ghanaians may not like you is because of your attitude towards them not because you are a nigerian mm. because i am a nigerian and there are a lot of other nigerians that are living in ghana and some of them are youtubers i know lots of nigerians that have been on youtube those that have stopped doing youtube simply changed their niche I know a lot of them and there have not been any complaint of them being hated by Ghanaians and I am here with my full chest saying that I'm not hated by Ghanaians and don't you think it has to do with your attitude? Let's go further into the video where you would discover that this my people are uh, they have there's this always this um now hold on let's go back to the video i'll be back again but the ones here the way they see nigerians as if nigerians are animal bears thieves they hate them they should go back to their country come on there's millions of Ghanaians living in nigeria if you don't know if you go to nigeria there is this hair we call ghana, ghana weaving is mainly done by Ghanaian men not nigerian men Ghanaian men and we patronize them so much they use it to raise their children they use it to raise their family they use it to cater for their families in ghana so when you are pronouncing hatred on people like this just be careful just be careful because the way you guys behave most times don't understand as if yeah, there's this thing we are driving we're not driving anything nigeria and ghana are one we are one we are one see it like that we are one if anyone offends you speak on that particular person that has offended you not to generalize it most of you are saying nigerians are frosters come on there are plenty sakawa sakawa boys sakawa in ghana here there are plenty of them who are into sakawa there are plenty of ghanaian boys that does yahoo there is nothing that you see nigerians are doing that ghanaian men are not doing so can we just stop hitting on each other? See this part where she talked about there are Sakawas in Ghana too. There are Sakawas. So yeah, that point simply means that because they have Sakawa boys in Ghana. Uh, so when you see Nigerian ritualists and rapists in your country, you should accept them. 
and what my sister here what this person didn't think before she opened her mouth is the fact that this sucker was which i'm not here to doubt or admit but just to put it to agree with you to make peace reign so that you feel great i will say okay what if there are sakawas in ghana i mean are they doing that in your country are they doing that in, in a foreign country i mean all the vice that you mentioned in the video that some Ghanaians do do is something you have stated they do in their country ghana or are they coming to tell you what to do in nigeria that is not all mm -mm. don't even shut me because i'm not done yet what about the part that says eh they, they, we are, nigerians are not the only ones you see the yastic for bad behavior that you constantly feel like okay looking at other people sin will help you to commit sin without feeling guilty it kind of baffles me like why do you think like that what if we look at a positive side of a country and emulate it instead of looking at the bad side and using it as a yastic for our own bad behavior do you understand you won't understand yeah you won't understand when i talk you people will go to some journalists and tell them cry me a river to to write on the national dailies that nigerian youtubers in ghana are doing this and that but i don't understand now hold on let me play another youtube video for you then i'll be back again to give my opinion hello guys it's a girl ifia kimura here and as you all know i've been in lagos for a while as a travel content creator i've been in lagos mainland and from the comment section you guys see especially from the nigerians you say i should visit island island is the real lagos i don't know whether those on the mainland or the mainland is not lagos i don't know so today i'm going to the island and i'm going to take the train i'm going to have a train experience in lagos and this is how it went in and out i love this one so much actually this is my first time boarding a train and the experience was wow this is small too and this is so superb wait and let me take you to marina train station and see how the marina train station looks like i know they are put down the train moves with time from the train charlie train we have fed the train is very nice like inside is an electronic train like if you enter now you see that wow wow the wow will be wowing <laughs> charlie and one thing i love about nigerians as a content creator is that when you take your phone then you start recording like nobody cares eh? they will just be doing their thing not staring at you like as now this video is by a Ghanaian youtuber in nigeria efia kimura she i have been watching her videos you know in nigeria just that the reason i've not really talked about it is she have not given me the hits i mean if you are in case she's watching this video she has not given me that thing that i want to get that is why i have not talked about her videos on here i have not reacted to her visit i have not acknowledged her visit to nigeria because i believe say she never gave me the boost like that boost that i gave when i came to ghana as a nigerian that boo that i gave if you never give me if you want to get it it's not to give me or to give your channel because it's not giving yet but let's just leave it she have tried because this is a young young person working under limited resources and only god knows the tribe of nigeria she visited in nigeria because for sure there are tribes in nigeria that's in nigeria some tribes that you visit they will not allow you to showcase another beautiful place the only time they are unite they unite together and show love to each other is when they want to bully other tribes uh -huh. but to say let's do something for my country they don't have it in their hearts so if if has not been taken to that place of booze in nigeria i totally understand so now did you see a Ghanaian went to ghana i mean she went to nigeria made a video and keep it clean she did not at any point in order of her videos there have not been any of her videos where she comes on here to complain does that mean that nigeria is perfect no it is not because nigeria or nigerians are perfect it is because 
she has little expectations and that is the exact life i am living in ghana and i feel satisfied because i have little expectations in ghana and it helps me to get pleasantly surprised when i go to a place yeah. but some of you you have high expectation the thing you can't give back at home back to the first video that i reacted to why is it that a tribe that discriminate against other people the most in nigeria are the people that always complain about other people discriminating against them because them them if you want to speak truth you people will take me to national dailies in nigeria and go and write nigerian youtubers in ghana them if i'm allowed to speak the truth when they do tribalism on a high note i was a young Nigerian actress in Hollywood. Make we talk. As a young Nigerian actress in Hollywood, I went through what then I went through I saw tribalism in real colors. Like in real colors. And do you know how they were doing it? When I go for audition, because I do not have the body and the money to bribe people in Hollywood. Yes, tell them I am saying that and anybody that wants to come forward, let's have that conversation. I did not have the body, you know, the body, though even though they wanted to manage it like that with bones, bone, because I was bone, 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 they wanted to manage it like that. But I went to Hollywood as a very good girl with lots of fear of God in me and respect for my body. So I did not want that to happen and I did not have money to bribe my way and to worsen the situation i am not from a tribe that is attractive to this set of people because the sins of my people is that we are humble and some nigerians when you want to be messed up try to be humble with some nigerians and you will know what it means to be to understand you will see you will see what they call oppression in reality so I was a young Nollywood actress and I went through so much that I cannot tell you in this video. I went through a near rape experience twice and I went through series of rejection. I went through having to walk into the streets on the streets of Asaba at 2 p.m. As dangerous as it is back home in God bless Nigeria for women, especially women of my age. At that time, I was sent into the streets at night because I refused to sleep with these people because that is uh, to make up for me not coming from a particular tribe. Now, you now, now they come sit down for Ghana, they talk about tribalism. I will go for audition because I do not have elsewhere to get my roles because I do not speak their language. I'll go for audition. I'll be given a role after auditioning. I'll make so many friends. People will come and ah, you can act. Trust me, when you know how to do something, people will like you. They especially, especially, especially Nigerians, they will like you. I was having friends. They will come, hey, you can act. Oh. Uh, and I'll win a role at the audition grand. But on the day of shoots, the moment I stepped my feet to filming location and they used their language to ask me and then when I respond with English, the role will be taken from me. Yes, there's a movie I was supposed to do. I, I can't speak their language and the script was taken from me and handed, handed to a girl from that part. It was not required of me to speak in the native dialect that you say, oh, okay, because the script said, no, it's not in that case. Like, who, where are you from? Where are you from? Do you get it? Because I don't speak their language. And it's this same set of people that will always come out and complain. In their videos, if they're not causing problem with their condescending attitude, they are causing problem with them complaining. They, they, you just see people that gives you, which I don't believe you're actually lying. Yeah, I think you're lying. But let's say you are saying the truth. You see people that give you a taste, 30% taste of your own medicine. You are already complaining. Why? You do this at home and you still do it. If I pass there now, say I want to go to my village, I must speak the language at some point. So I don't usually smile when I get there. I frown my face, I tighten it. But it hurts me because some of your people are so amazing they are nice beyond words 
they are nice it's as if if you see a, a nigerian from that side that want to be nice it they over nice and to the glory of god god have only always be sending this particular set of nigerians from there the nice ones among them the nicest ones among them god select them and make them my friends why do we always complain why do you have a problem with other people if they don't like you how is your attitude i still continue to say to me i'm i live in a community of both nigerians and Ghanaians in ghana and as a matter of fact i relate to all normal I relate to both the Nigerians and Ghanaians in Ghana normal. Like, I don't know why you people complain. It's because the reason you think Ghanaians do not like you is because of your attitude towards them. Mm -hmm. You come, they don't say you want to buga, you want to start. They, you want to start acting like you are acting. Uh -huh. So they won't take it. Trust me, because they had enough. They had enough. You humble, no me say, you know, get sense. So now, a lot of people will be saying, eh, there was this particular one. Hold on, let me play another clip, the third clip from another video, and I'll be back again to talk. You see this conversation? We shall have it today and have it in full dose. And then after now, you people must go. Go and meet Dele Momodu. Tell him to feature me on ovation or tell your people to come and arrest me. I don't know what you intend to do this time. The last time you used journalists, Time, what are you going to use? Let's go to this one. I'll be back. They did that to other Africans who cannot do it to South Africans. Still mentioning that they will host Nigerians in South Africa because of football. And tomorrow, your women will be coming to Nigeria to search for men. Tomorrow, you'll be built okay because the, the, all those ones who they fight don't go. Kai, oh my. Eh? Oh, in everything I see, prefer Ghana. Like in everything I see, prefer Ghana. Ghana understand the gist. Like we we'll drag each other, we we'll, we we'll cover each other, we we'll do everything. But at the end of the day, it's not that deep. Like all this beefing of African countries, it's not that deep. Mm. So you see this one. <laughs> she prefers Ghanaians to south africa the other one say even Benin, they are not close to them as they are close to Ghanaians. the reason is because Ghanaians are letting you get away with shit yeah they allow you to oppress them and get away with it many of the time and just say they want to <laughs> sneeze you will start complaining you will start making it look like they hate nigerians a whole nigeria you will start to make it a big international wahala how are you living in ghana how how because i'm going to one of my friends she's Igbo. i'm going to bring her on the channel because she said she'll be visiting me soon one of these days and i already told her i'm going to have her here because she owns a business here and um she been here for quite a while she has a farm she her family is here her kids are in school in ghana she and her family um they even own a property in ghana so i want to bring her on the channel and ask her because whenever we have a conversation she always have one thing to say about ghana and Ghanaians. she don't complain she don't see the need to complain because she's okay see it's what you make of your environment many of the times that is what you will get so why this constant complaint the reason you prefer Ghanaians to south africa South Af the reason you prefer Ghanaians to South Africa is because Ghanaians let you get away with it. See, if Ghanaians have their way, they would have just run away. Like, ah, if they knew, I believe that if the, if Ghanaians knew, the day was the day God was creating them and creating Nigerians as their as their neighbors, they would have run a, a, away. They will they, they will say, what is my offense? They are God. What is my offense? What is my offense? This is like a little sister or little brother that you have no choice, but you don't know what to do with. That is. So the reason you feel like eh, they are more relatable, because this same girl now, this one went to say South Africans are worse, Ghanaians are better, they love them better. Is the This is the same girl that went to Kenya and say, 
um, at Kenya there, he was always talking about Ghana, how Ghanaians don't open their hearts to Nigerians, this, this, and this. And then you have gone round to see, now she have gone round to see, she want to prefer Ghana. Ah, my people now today complain. Why don't you just notice the positive side of something or someone and take it? Just like this Niger uh, Ghanaian girl did when she went to Lagos. Just like I am doing. You think, it, it, the reason is, all the time, when you see me, you think my comment section is clean. I have Ghanaians insulting me at my comment section, but do you know what I do to them? I block them, delete them, because I have Nigerians and Ghanaians coming to insult me. I block them because there's power of blocking. Instead of me to come and sit down here and lament, eh, they hate me. Oh, now you are telling us, what should we do? Let's go and beat them. Oh yeah, give me their address and their phone numbers. Let me go and beat them for you. When a hater gets a little bit of hate, you start to complain. If you don't, uh, uh, maybe the style of content you are doing, you go to your channel and take a look. The videos you are doing, you're focusing on showcasing Ghana, you're show, focusing on sharing your life. They are doing well. Instead of these divisional ones, when you, you people finish, you act like you love unity. Yoruba, <laughs> Ibo, Elsa, make me, make, make these people hate Nigeria. That is how you people behave, but in reality, you know the truth. In reality, you know the truth. You cause problem. You go come, they do like say, you are a peace lover. Una go there, okay, okay? I don't talk more. Any toba boju komi, I have said it to any toba boju komi, <laughs> go and listen to the rest of the relics in that song. You think you just say, Oh, think it last all last of you think it. You guys are not the only Nigerians in Nigeria, for God's sake. Person of his passport enter any country right now. Who cost some? Who cost some? I mean, because they know they fit talk. People like tired, they fear to fear to talk. They know fit talk because then they fear make you know be like say, then they divide internationally. See, people when they do tribalism the most now, then they complain of tribalism. Why? Eh, why? Please, I'm done with this video, okay? I'm done. I'm, I don't they vex. I'm done with this video. I'll be back again when they call my name. And I will see you in another one. Bye.